hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it um y'all people been asking me to do um gematria on this situation that happened in chicago so i wanted to just do it real quick um let me go back for a second give me one second y'all okay so i am going to do uncle hank and i'm going to do big lowdown and i'm going to do skin skin bone okay y'all so we are going to start off with the pictures that i have up here first this is what, and then i'm gonna come back to this picture right here okay um a lot of people were saying that um skin bone um is a sellout he will do anything to be you know to be in the spotlight of you know the rich and famous and this and that and, that and this this is what the word on the street is and you know i've been doing a little digging and just checking out some stuff and you know because i don't know these guys i don't know and one of them y'all okay um, they do videos on YouTube as well. They, uh, you know, do comedian skit, skit, stuff like that. Then I found something on one of them do, that raps or something. I don't know if that's the same person or not or what, what, what. Okay, y'all. But I'm going to say this. I'm starting to believe there's some truth to um, this was a setup. Okay, y'all. And I'm going to tell y'all why that I believe that there's some truth. Okay. Now, y'all remember when I was telling y'all about, um, is it Beezy 600 Breezy, Breezy or whatever his name is? And he started hanging out with Drake. And then he ended up allegedly doing his little sacrifice. Allegedly on his girlfriend. And everybody was saying that they don't think she took herself out and all of that stuff. And um, fingers was pointing toward, you know, 600 Breezy. Okay, y'all? Um, I'm just being completely honest with you. Everybody that's in this little inner circle, like Drake chief keith and all this stuff um they're all into this mess and if you know i'm just saying y'all skin bone is hanging out with these guys no doubt that they're not teaching him the ropes okay y'all because soon as the, the breezy guys start hanging out with drake you know people start passing away around him mysteriously okay y'all so i'm just saying you know people have to do what they have to do to make it up that ladder and from what I'm looking at with skin bone, y'all, he's trying everything. He is willing to do any and everything that it takes, everything that people have said you have to do to get, you know, go up that ladder. He has done. This is what it's looking like, y'all. Okay. So was he there to the point where he didn't mind making a sacrifice? Okay. Now, I don't know what business dealings these three guys has together. I don't know if they business partners. I have no clue. Okay. Okay. But from what I'm seeing, y'all, um, I'm sad at this one right here. Okay? He's throwing up the Baphomet right here. He's throwing up the Baphomet. Um, he's attached to Chief Keith. And if you look at Chief Keith, he has on a jacket with all the sixes on there. 666. Six, six. Okay? And he hang out with these guys. And I'm going to tell y'all this. Um... The Bible say people are fond of their own kind. So if he hang out with people in the industry that don't mind sacrificing to get up to the top, um, nine times out of ten, he don't mind doing it either. Okay, y'all? And this is him hanging out with Chief Keith. Now, I heard that he's also close with Drake. And Drake called himself the Six Gods. You see it, his, you see it right here, the 666. Um, he called himself the God of the Underworld. So who y'all think that is? That's Satan. This is who Drake, I'm just saying, y'all, this is who Drake worships, Satan, okay? And if Drake is hanging out with this guy, too, then, um, yeah, y'all, I think they teaching him the ropes on what he has to do to get to where he needs to get to, okay? Now, this picture right here look fruity as a pebble, okay, y'all? And I don't care what nobody say. They say he got some kids, but does that matter? 
Does that matter if you have a child? And does that make you not Fruity Pebble? Does that make you not, you know, go into that route just because you're trying to get to where you need to get to? Um, They saying it's a little sugar in this tank, too. That he don't mind. Um, I'm just saying, y'all, to get to where he need to get. And I want y'all to pay attention to these little demon shoes that he got on as well. Everything about this guy is, I am going to do whatever I need to do. This is my personal opinion to get to where he needs to get to. Okay. He even dyes his hair like people in the industry when they, you know, Illuminati puppets. Okay, y'all. When they're out here trying to, you know, step up them ladders, they, they go through this phase where they dye their hair blonde and all that too. He's done that, okay? People are going through the little phases that's trying to be rich and famous of putting on dresses. And he does this too, y'all. He don't mind putting on a wig and a dress. And I know they're saying he's a comedian, but every comedian don't have to dress up like a woman to be funny. Okay, y'all? So um, any man that dresses up like a, a woman, I'm just going to say it, y'all, for the public eye, um, you got a side at him. Because real men wouldn't put on a dress and a wig. I'm just saying, y'all. And even if they did it at home playing with their kids, you would never see it. Not from no, not, not, not no real one. Okay, y'all? So, something tells me that this guy is, um, I'm just saying, y'all, down for whatever to get to wherever he needs to get. Okay? Now, they do have a YouTube page called Uncle Hank and Big Lowdown on YouTube and they get they pretty popular. They got 283,000 subscribers that I saw. So they got a lot of skits on here that I saw. Okay? Now I know this ain't Big Hank, so y'all don't tell me that it's not Big Hank, okay? I know this is not the one that everybody's talking about. But when I was looking up Big Hank, this caught my eye because the numbers. Okay, y'all? This is somebody totally different. He is Big Bank Hank, okay? And his name is similar to Uncle Hank, okay, y'all? They call him Big Hank, and they call him Uncle Hank, okay? His name is similar. And I want you to pay attention to the fact that this guy right here was born in New York, okay? Remember, I've been telling y'all about the New York artists and this and that and that and this. And I've also been telling y'all about this one-on-one -on -one and 11, 11 ritual stuff that they're doing, okay? They're making it more and more obvious that a lot of these people that's passing, they are passing by the numbers, this guy was born January the 11th. And I don't want y'all to remember, you know, um, Gangsta Boo when she passed, okay? And Star, okay? I want you to remember this because they passed away to these numbers too, as well as Mo3, okay? He was born 111, this guy right here. And he passed away on 1111, okay? This is the same thing I was telling you about Mo3 and the people that, you know, called themselves, got him to do this movie. He had finished his scenes in the movie. They told him he had to redo the, one of the scenes. And he passed away going to do this scene, okay, on this expressway. They had set him up, okay, y'all? Um, I do believe that there are, the feds is paying attention now to these numbers and this 1111 stuff and 111 stuff. They're starting to pay attention that it is, you know, um, something that is starting to happen a lot. And they can't ignore it anymore, okay, y'all? So I want y'all to just pay attention to that. This is something else I'm going to put in my archive because this is the same thing that I've been telling y'all about, okay? This guy was a part of the Sugar Hill gang, okay? And he passed away and was born on 111 and passed away on 1111, okay? I want y'all to just keep that in mind, okay? This is not the same Hank from Chicago. This I just ran into this when I was looking it up and I was like, whoa, I got to put this in my archive too because he passed away to the, by the numbers too. Okay, everything is by the numbers, and a lot of these people are being um guided by spiritual advisors, and they are telling them how to line stuff up by the numbers. So, big events and stuff like that, like this hidden that took place when this happened, you know, this puts their, their name in the spotlight for a minute, and people is talking about them. Okay, some people, you know, even though this guy, I heard he got like a million followers or something like that. But at the same time, some people get greedier and greedier and greedier and they want that fame to come faster and faster. So you have to be careful being around people like this. 
I didn't want to do the numbers because I don't know everybody's real name and I couldn't pull up everybody's real name. So this is another reason why I wanted to kind of wait to do this. But if y'all know their real names, y'all send it to me and I'll do another one. Okay, because I like to have their, new, their real names and I like to have their birthdays because that tells you much, much, much more. Okay, y'all. Now, and let's get it, y'all. Let's get it. Let's get it. So, um, I put in Uncle Hank, okay? And when I put in Uncle Hank, y'all, Knife Talk popped up, okay? And I don't know if y'all know about Knife Talk, but I talked about this as well. This is a song that, um, Drake did. Catch that on fleek. <laughs> okay, y'all? Drake did this song called Knife Talk. And a lot of people said that this song ha was, you know, had something to do with a, a certain rapper that uh, was a knife to their demise at a concert. Okay, y'all? I want y'all to pay attention to this. Okay? Um, this is popping up under Uncle Hank. So was he about to be a sacrifice? And why is Drake popping up? Okay? And he's associated with skin bone okay y'all i want y'all to pay attention to that um deceptive pops up as well deceptive that pops up under his numbers And if you look up deceptive, it says giving an appearance or impression different from the true one. Misleading. Okay, y'all. So let's keep going, y'all. Deceptive, this pop is popping up. Um, fake event is popping up. Okay. And this event just happened. And it says fake event. So, is there some smoke and mirrors going on here? And the reason why I tell y'all that I think that it's something to this is something is happening right now with this case that don't usually happen, okay? Number one, there's some more information coming out. And the other information that's coming out now, they're saying that this guy that was from Champaign, okay, a couple hours away from Chicago, um, he drove all the way to this party. And they say once he got in his party... He just started picking. He was all in people's face, certain people's face, which one of the people's face that he was mainly in was Uncle Hank. Okay, y'all? He was all in his face acting like he was a fan. And he ended up being one of the first ones that he hit up. Okay, y'all? So I find that odd. You got to think about that. Um, this guy came all the way from another, you know, place to come here and um, to Chicago. And he came there to um, pick on people. They say that he started picking on a lot of women that was in the party, okay? He was, like, being very inappropriate to them, touchy-feely. Um, this is what people were saying, that he started harassing all the women that was at the party. This is what people were saying. And remember what I told y'all, that there are people that's coming here, I do believe, and this is my personal opinion, Okay? That people are coming here to start stuff, and then once it starts, then they can air the place out. Okay, y'all? So, um, this is what I said. And it makes no sense that you would drive all the way to Chicago. And you go to a party, and you're not from that area. Okay, y'all? And... On top of that, you are at a party and you are picking. You don't even know who these women are. What is they man in the place? You don't even know. But they said that he was harassing women at the party. They said that he was, you know, touchy feeling on them and all kind of stuff. Okay, y'all. And this is the reason why he got kicked out of the party. So I'm gonna tell y'all this, and I'm gonna ask y'all this. I think my personal opinion that he came there to set it off. Okay, he came there to start some stuff. And if he did, y'all, who got him to come there? Because if the party was originally supposed to be somewhere else, then how did he end up at the party and it was actually, you know, sent to this place, another place that it wasn't even supposed to be at? Okay, y'all? Now, another thing that's tripping me out about this whole thing is 
the police is not releasing any information about this guy, which is very odd. Everything that we found out about this guy, we found out about this guy through skin bone. Okay, y'all? And it's his party. So it makes you wonder, and there's, there's some rumors going around that skin bone know this guy, or it could be, I'm just saying, y'all, some type of relation, okay, to this person. I don't know if that's true or not, because I don't know any one of these guys. But I'm going to say this. Due to the fact that people is saying that he might be related to skin bone and all of this other stuff, it's starting to make a little bit of sense to me as to why the police is not releasing this guy's information, y'all. Because think about this. It's either two things. Either there's a cover-up, okay, or, okay, and he was given orders to do this stuff and there's something more to this than meets the eye. For the police to be so hush hush that's number one either it's a cover-up or this was an inside job and they trying to get to the bottom bottom of this because i don't understand why they are still questioning him right now they are still questioning this guy this incident happened saturday it's going on tuesday now and the only thing the news people are saying is he's being questioned how many days do y'all need to question this man so that tells you that this could be an inside job. Now, another thing that the police said, okay, Big Hank said this. He was on a live. He said that the police told him not to say much for his own protection. So that makes me think, was Big Hank the target in the first place? Okay, y'all. Because why would the police tell him don't talk about this whole incident or anything that happened for your own protection? Unless it's somebody that he was there with paid this guy to come there to do this in the first place. Okay, y'all? Something is up. Something is definitely up about this whole situation. Now, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. So... Let's see what else pops up. So right hand pops up. And usually when somebody say your right hand, your right hand is usually like somebody that's close to you, your right hand man, or I'm just saying, y'all, this is usually what comes up when it says right hand. So right hand is popping up under Uncle Hank. And question of the day is now, is skin bone Uncle Hank's right hand man? Okay, y'all? I want y'all to think about that. Um, what else is coming up? <sighs> Wicked one is popping up. And see, this could go either way. Either Uncle Hank got some is doing some little dirt, or either the people that he's around is wicked. Okay, y'all? It's one or the other. I don't know this guy, so I'm just throwing it out how it's popping up, okay? Gathering is popping up. This is where this took place at, this mass hitting. It was a Halloween gathering. Okay, y'all? Um, let's put in Big Lowdown, y'all. I don't know these people. Like I told y'all, I don't know them. When I put in Big Lowdown, 44 pops up right away in 96. And we all know that that 96 can go either way. Okay, 66, 96, 66, okay. Um, so when I put in a big lowdown, y'all. Red tsunami. Now, remember when I was telling y'all about the numbers? Um, you know, when I'm doing my three Ks, pay attention to the numbers. Pay attention to the colors. Pay attention to water, Okay. So, red tsunami pops up, okay, y'all? Which, that's what it looked like in there with all of that. I'm just saying, blew it all on the floor and stuff like that. Now, another thing that's popping up under Big Lowdown is January the 1st. So, that is 11, okay, y'all? So, there go one of the 11s. Um, who all played a part with this? Um, it says Ringmaster. Big Lowdown is coming up Ringmaster. Okay, y'all. Um, I 
World Stage is popping up. Boy, Boys in Blue is popping up too because th that's kind of odd because people are saying this dude just got something to do with a police officer for them to be so hush hush. And they're telling the witnesses don't talk about stuff and they're not releasing this guy's picture. Every one of the mass hittings that has taken place all over the world, they have always released the picture. And Chicago, they're not releasing it. They're not releasing his name. They're not releasing no pictures. And the only thing they're saying about this guy is that he's still being questioned. This is all they're saying. How, how long do you question somebody before you arrest or actually charge them and let everybody know what's going on? Something ain't right in the water. Okay, y'all? Boys in Blue is popping up. Either they know something and it has something that this guy probably didn't told that somebody got him to come there. Because I'm sure this is one of the questions they're asking him. Who do you know? Why did you come there? Who invited you? Okay? And if you were such a fan of Uncle Hank, why was he one of the first ones that you came for? Okay, y'all? So, um, y'all, something is up. Something is definitely up with this whole situation. Um, what else is popping up? So, four of spades is popping up. Four of spades is popping up. That's popping up. Um, This is why I like to have everybody's information, all of it, so that I can look at everything at one time. Okay, y'all? Um, Let's put in, and we got to put in what the news is reporting thus far, too. That's another thing that we have to put in. So, when I put in skin bone... Now, when I put in ski, skin and bone, Key Glock pops up. Now, a lot of people felt like Key Glock knew what was about to happen with Dolph. And this was his right hand man, Key Glock. So, for Key Glock to pop up and people think that Key Glock had something to do with Dolph, that's interesting for that to pop up as well. Okay, y'all? Give me a second, y'all. Location is popping up. And remember, I was telling y'all that about Mo3, what happened to him. I was telling y'all that about what happened to Dolph. Location was very important in this setup. Um, that I found that odd that it popped up there, too. Firearms pops up as well. So weapons is popping up. And this guy did come to this party with a weapon. Oh, Lucifer is popping up. Trampled is popping up. And that was somewhat a trample because everybody was trying to get away and get out the way of the, the bullets flying. Okay. So, trampled popped up as well. Now, I want to go to the news report. I'm going to go to the news report and I'm going to put in, because it's not a lot of coming up under this, but I am still want to go to the news report because they say put that in as well. So, um, it happened at North Lawndale. So I'm going to put that in and see what pops up as well.
money changers money changers is popping up i don't know what the heck money changers why would that pop up A person whose business is the exchanging of one currency for another. So that pops up. Okay. Um, determination pops up. A hunter's dream pops up. And we know that a lot of hunt, like hunt stuff was popping up, up under like, um, a lot of rappers that was taken out, you know, like they were hunted. So hunt, a hunter's dream pops up. We will be there is popping up. The evil empire is popping up as well. April 11th is popping up, and that's 411. So, yeah. That's popping up. Fatal shooting is popping up. That's popping up as well. Mm -mm -mm. Master Builder is popping up. That pops up a lot as well, y'all. Plan ritual is popping up as well. And when plan ritual comes up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of the numbers is matching with North Lawndale. So plan ritual is definitely popping up. Okay, y'all. Um they are not saying much about this case, which is really, really odd. They said it was around 100 attendees inside the building. In the 1200 block of South Pulaski Road shortly after 1 a.m. So I'm going to put in the address. 1200 block of South Pulaski Road. I just want to see what's popping up. Because they tell you to, you know, make sure you put stuff like this in as well. Because it tells you some stuff too. Okay. The Jesuit is popping up. I really do believe that um, there's more to this than meets the eye, y'all. So when I put in the address, it says 666, the devil's number. That's what's popping up. And then it says the great deceiver. Okay. So y'all, if you go by these numbers, somebody um, lined this whole thing up to happen. And I think this is why they being so quiet. I truly believe this is why they are being on the hush huts right now and it also says bigger than you can imagine so this is um do it got something to do with higher ups helping line this stuff up y'all because that's what it seems like 
It says disinformation doesn't. Don't ask me what that means. Doesn't disinformation. And <laughs> never broke again. Young boy pops up, y'all. I'm starting to wonder if this was a setup, y'all. And it also says the Kennedy, the Kennedy assassination. That's popping up under this as well. Suddenly and unexpectedly pops up as well. Okay, y'all? And this is the address. When I put the address in. It says the gunman fled. Both officers quickly arrested him nearby with help from party goers and found a weapon in his possession. He has not yet been charged. So is they working out a negotiation with him or something, y'all? Because why haven't he been charged yet, y'all? He was kicked out of the party. So I'm gonna put that in because everything is subliminal when they when they um do stuff. A lot of stuff be sub subliminal. So 44 pops up two times when I put that he was um, I put kicked out of the party. 44 44 pops up twice. It's only a matter of tab pops up. Don't fear the reaper pops up. And 11th of November pops up. And y'all know what 11th of November is. 11-11. Um, y'all. Something is up. With this whole situation. And don't be surprised if you find out that somebody else gets arrested in this case. Illuminati agenda is popping up under this as well. Eight hundred and three pops up, and y'all know you don't use the the zero, so that's eighty three, and y'all know what eighty three stands for. Um, uh, murder by numbers, y'all. That's popping up. Instant millionaires is popping up. Cause I be telling y'all to look for like instant money lottery stuff like that. That pops up too because they pass that money on to somebody else. We live in a stimulation that's popping up as well. New moon solar eclipse is popping up. Something in the water is popping up. I kid y'all not. That's popping up too. Something in the water. And I just said that a few minutes ago that there is something in the water. Okay, y'all? Something that ain't adding up with this whole situation, y'all. Let's see what else that stands out. So I'm going to just put a Halloween party in as well, y'all. Because a lot of people's passing is starting to happen at these Halloween parties. So I'm going to just put that in and then we'll be done with this until y'all give me some more information like they real names and stuff like that. But so far, it's looking like this was lined up, y'all. Um, when I put in Halloween party, 23 pops up off the top. 23, and this is the year of Skull and Bone, which is the year of 23. Okay. The Cowardly Lion. Devil's Playground is popping up. Because that's a coward thing to do to somebody. To line them up. That's supposed to be your friends or business partners. So that is popping up, y'all. Um, Psalms 23. Three is popping up. Now, I don't remember what that um, Bible scripture is about. 
So I'll check it out. Psalms 2 3, because this is the year of skull and bone. Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Let us burst their bonds apart and cast away their cords from us. Let us break their chains, they cry, and for and free ourselves from slavery of God. This is what's popping up. So I have no idea why that's popping up. What does that even mean? Okay, so it says to be independent of God and Christ so as to not be bound by God's authority. So that makes sense, especially the friends that he hangs out with. And that's Psalms 23. This is what um, is popping up. And that's odd. Past nations have set themselves against God and the anointed one, Jesus Christ and the Messiah. As current nations still do today, desiring to burst their bonds apart and cast away their cords from them. That is, to be independent of God and Christ so as to not bond by God's authority. Okay, so that fits with him being friends with Drake and all of that because they don't like God either. So um, that, that makes sense. That's popping up. One second, y'all. I got to check something real quick. I got to check something. Okay. Let me get back to it. Okay. What else is popping up? Um, the Gemini twins is popping up too. And y'all know we've just been talking about the Gemini twins. And I had to get the movie, so I just got it. So I'm gonna watch it, y'all. Um A New World Order is popping up. Truman Doctrine. And remember, I was telling y'all about the Truman show. People think that they people are their friends and they ended up not being their friends. A storm is coming. It's also popping up, y'all. And Pink Pantheris is popping up. Remember, I was telling y'all about um, um, the crowd crush in Korea? And it said Pink Light or something like that. So that's popping up, too. So this is possibility that this was definitely supposed to be a sacrifice. And if so, is this why they are holding some stuff back? Because um, somebody might be letting some cat out the bags. That um, the people that was at that party or through that party could have been the ones that got this guy to come. And like I told y'all, um, like I told y'all, he was the only one. Skin Bond was the only one, y'all. He was the only one that came out and said that this guy was in his 50s and that he's from, you know, Champagne. He's the one that came out and said this stuff, y'all. He said he's from Champagne, Illinois. Energy transfer is popping up. Satanic worship is popping up as well. Okay, y'all. So one more thing that I want to put in. I want to put in where this guy is from really, really quick and see if anything pops up under that. Because this is the only thing we have to go by right now. Because they are not telling us nothing, y'all. They're not telling us a thing. Not at all. So when I put in Champaign, Illinois, which where they're saying this suspect is from, which that could not even be true too, because why ain't the news telling us where he's from? 
we're only hearing this from skin bone and skin bone is so close to skull and bones that it's ridiculous but i want y'all to listen to what is popping up when i put in champagne illinois it says the witch hunt continues this is what they're saying the witch hunt continues. This is what is popping up when I put that in. To infinity and beyond. And I've been talking about infinity links. That was the same thing that was popping up when takeoff got taken out. Okay, y'all? Oh, my goodness. So, when I put this in as well, it is saying, and now somebody is going to pass away. This is what is coming up, y'all. It's saying D-I-E. Somebody is going to and now going to D-I-E. This is what is popping up. Domestic deportation is popping up. And I've been saying, you know, how in the world is somebody being, you know, they on a hush-hush right now. And remember, every time something been happening, that first thing they say, it's not the migrants that's doing something. But... Now, look what this is coming up. Domestic deportation. Emergency alert system is popping up too. These people are evil. This is popping up as well. Come before the storm is popping up again. And it just said that in something else. Scottish National Party. And y'all know that only time Scottish pretty much comes up is somebody passing away in a, like, in water. Nineteenth of January is popping up, which is one one nine, or you can say nine one one. That's also has something to do with um, skull and bones, y'all. It's popping up. National Day of Hate is popping up, and remember that came up the other day as well, y'all. National Day of Hate. That came up on somebody else's. I just did. So there it is, y'all. There it is, y'all. That's odd. National Day of Hate is popping up. And that popped up under something else that we just finished looking at. I think it had to do with the migrants or something like that. When I looked that up. National Day of Hate. I'm trying to remember what I was... I just talked about this not too long ago. Wow. Anyway, y'all, Um, that's what's coming up. If y'all know their real names and y'all know their birthdays, y'all can send that to me and I'll do it again. And I, I can pull up more information when I put uh, in stuff like that. But as for now, this is what is coming up, y'all. Okay? Was it a setup? I do believe it was. By the numbers, this is what it's saying. Okay, y'all? Um, did he do this so he can pump himself up? Because big events pump people up. And, you know, look what happened to, you know, um, Makita's cookies. Okay, y'all? I've never heard in my life somebody get taken out in somebody's business and the business come up off of somebody getting taken out. I've never heard of that. But this is what is happening now, y'all. People is paying people to line people up in certain places, and it pumps th that person up. Either their image get pumps up because they was in the midst of some kind of big thing that just happened, or the place that they, you know, it happens that everybody get behind them. But they say that this is an area where stuff like this happens, you know, um, occasionally. So, I don't see the company or the place, because they're talking about closing the place down, shutting it down. 
because they was wasn't supposed to be open and they weren't supposed to rent that place out in the first place okay y'all so um y'all something is a brewing in this case i definitely do believe that something is a brewing the fact that they are hiding this guy information to me means either it's a cover-up or he is tied to somebody in this party and when they told uncle hank don't talk too much about this whole thing for his safety there's more to this than meets the eye y'all okay it's more behind this whole situation for him to come there and just start picking with people, you don't even know if some, these women that were in this party that he was touching, touchy-feely with, he don't even know if their boyfriends was there. For him to go there to start some mess and he's not even from that area, I think he was sent there to start some mess. My personal opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, okay, y'all? But anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.